Hey, Hope Church kids. Uh, it's Miss Emily this morning, and I am so excited to be with you guys. I really miss seeing you every Sunday, so I'm glad that we could get together online um, and still talk. And um, I hope you guys enjoy today's lesson. We're still working our way through Jesus's miracles. So we started a few weeks ago talking about Jesus calming the storm and walking on water. And we've also talked a lot about the different people that he healed along the way. Um, so he was able to heal the lepers. And then last week, Miss Brianna talked to you guys about Jesus heal, uh, healing the paralyzed man. Um, so today we're going to talk about another one of Jesus's healings. And we're gonna take a look at him healing another sick person. So I want you guys to think about a time that you've been sick. Um, being sick is never fun for anybody, right? And I remember uh, when I was sick growing up, all I wanted to do was just cuddle up under my comforter. Um, now with Abby Kate, her favorite, favorite thing to do on a sick day is to sit on this sofa right here and cuddle up next to me and we just watch movies all day. Um, and so she really loves to be cuddled and held during that time. So you're probably the same way, or like if you get a cut or a bruise or scrape your knee or whatever, you really want that comfort of touch and hugs and things like that. And that's gonna be the focal point of our lesson today is this idea of um, the healing power of just touch and reaching out and um, just loving on someone else. Um, so that's what we're going to take a look at today. The woman in our story today, she wasn't just sick because she fell down and skinned her knee. She didn't just have the cold or the flu or something like that. Instead, she had been sick for 12 years. Some of you guys are 12 now. Some of you guys are younger than 12. But just imagine being sick for that much of your life. Um, for me, that would be my entire adult life. Uh, for your parents, probably similar situations. Uh, but looking at what it would be like to be sick for that long and to have to be outside of society for that long, because when you're sick, you really can't go out and do the things that you love to do. Um, we know that because of the virus that's prevalent right now, we're all stuck in our houses. So imagine having to live like this for 12 years, what that would be like. Um, and this woman, she didn't have just any illness or any sickness. She had been bleeding for 12 years. She just, um, the blood kept coming and kept coming and she couldn't uh, get help for it. No matter how many doctors she saw <clears throat> or anything like that, she just felt really bad for those full 12 years. Um, and she was really starting to just lose hope that she was going to find someone to help her. But then she heard about Jesus. So let's take a look at our story. We're actually going to look at two different places for today's story. We're going to start off in Mark. And then after we look at Mark, we're going to look at Luke too. Um, remember Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, those are the four gospels of Christ. And when we look at those four books of the Bible, a lot of times they'll tell the same stories from different perspectives. So this part of the story is gonna take a look at the woman side of things. And then whenever we switch to Luke, we're gonna get to look at Jesus's side of the conversation too. So in Mark five, we're gonna start with verse 24. Um, a large crowd followed and pressed around him and him is Jesus here. And a woman was there who had been subject to bleeding for 12 years. She had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors and had spent all she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him in the crowd and touched his cloak because she thought, if I can just touch his clothes, I'll be healed. Immediately, her bleeding stopped and she felt in her body that she was freed from her suffering. So even just within reaching out and touching Jesus. He didn't even know that she was there, but she was able to reach out and touch him. And that's how she found her healing. So now let's take a look at this same story from the perspective of, um, or from the book of Luke rather. So it's gonna describe Jesus's side of this experience. So we got to see the woman's side. She uh, goes, she'd been suffering for so long, the doctors hadn't been able to help her, but she goes and she reaches out and she feels that healing. So now let's take a look at the same story but with Jesus's perspective added in. So right after the woman touched him, he asks, who touched me? Jesus asked. When they all denied it, Peter said, master, the people are crowding and pressing against you. But Jesus said, someone touched me. I know that power has gone out from me. Then the woman, seeing that she could not go unnoticed, came trembling and fell at his feet. 
In the presence of all the people, she told why she had touched him and how she had been instantly healed. Then he said to her, daughter, your faith has healed you. So go in peace. So again, this idea that even though um, Jesus didn't know that she was even seeking him out, just that touch had enough power in it that she was able to be healed because she believed that that touch would heal her. She believed that the touch of Jesus was enough to take away her pain and suffering. Um, so that idea of the power of touch is really important here. Um, our memory verse for today is going to be right here. Your faith has healed you. So this idea that Jesus can bring about our healing and that just that touch is enough to heal um, us. A lot of times in church, we'll lay hands on people as we pray with them, or maybe around the dinner table every night, you guys hold hands with your family to pray, or even at bedtime, you, mom, dad, siblings, everybody cuddles up and holds each other to pray, um, or even just a hug and things like that, because we believe that those things and those touches, they have power in them inherently. So that's what we're going to talk about today. Um, so I have a little bit of an experiment or a trick for you guys that deals with the power of touch and the power of this faith that can heal us. So for our experiment today, you guys are going to participate with me now. I want for you to put your palms together and clutch your hands together like this. So just get your hands together. And then here's the tricky part. I want you to stick your two pointer fingers up and try to keep them separated. But because touch is so powerful, you'll notice that they start drifting toward each other. And no matter how hard you try to keep them apart, usually they end up touching. And that's because there is this power um, and this strength whenever we touch. Um, so go ahead and give that experiment a try. Again, you just cut your hands together, make sure your palms are touching, and then you'll stick your two pointer fingers up. You can try really hard to get them separated, but they drift back toward one another. Um, so what I want to encourage you guys to do this week with this memory verse and with these ideas is that we are living right now in a time where a lot of people around us are getting sick. And a lot of people, um, if they catch um, the coronavirus or something like that, they'll be physically sick, like we get physically sick from the flu. But there are a lot of people also who are just hurting right now. Um, I know that when the announcement came out this week that school was going to be out for the rest of the year, you guys might have celebrated a little bit, but I was hurt. I was feeling sad. And so I really sought out my family for those hugs and that healing. And I also um, sought out prayer and we had prayer time as a family about um, the uncertainties and things like that. So there are people around you right now who are sick and who are hurting and who just need that touch. And Jesus is obviously God. He's all powerful. And his touch is something special. But because we believe in Jesus, we also have that power of healing touch within us. So yes, this week we looked at one of Jesus's miracles, but I'm going to challenge you guys to apply that to your own lives and look for people that you can reach out and touch, whether through hug, through prayer, um, just through loving on people. Um, and obviously, uh, you're not out in public a lot right now, but start with your own family this week and find opportunities, not just to pray as a family, but to hold hands and pray as a family or to hug and to cuddle and just spend that time together. Physical touch is a really, really powerful thing. And I think this story shows that. Um, so I want us to also be thinking about how can we reach out to others and help them um, find that healing power that Jesus shows us in this story. All right, so I'm going to pray um, and then we will wrap it up for today. God, thank you so much for bringing us together this morning, whether it be in person or as it is today digitally. We're just so thankful that we have the opportunity to come together and to worship you. Um, thank you for showing us the miracles of Jesus, but also for the reminder that those miracles didn't end with Jesus and that we can still do amazing things in your name. Lord, help us look for opportunities to heal and to love on those around us um, and to have that faith that that woman had to know that just by touching Jesus, just by drawing close to the Father, that we can also find healing in our own lives. Um, Lord, please be with these sweet kiddos as they conquer another week of being at home 
Um, please bless their spring break with lots of family time, lots of fun, lots of your sweetness. Uh, we thank you so much again for just being God, being you, and I uh, hope that we can all find the faith to follow you, even in the uncertainty that's happening right now. Lord, we love you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, guys, I sincerely hope that y'all have a great spring break. I hope that this next week, even though you're at home, find some fun things to do. Um, and then at the end of each day, draw close to one another and remember that your faith is so strong that it can bring healing. I love you guys. I miss you. I can't wait to see you so, so soon. Mwah. Bye.